welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 things that I think every new dog owner needs to get their dog. I thought this would be the perfect video to have my golden doodle dude in with me. He's making a little bit of an appearance today. I'm not sure how long he's gonna end up sitting here on the couch with me, or he might just kick me off the couch. We'll see how this goes. We got our golden doodle dude back in October. He's actually gonna be a year old next month. August 13th is his birthday, which is crazy. When we knew that we were going to get dude, we had a week before we were going to bring him home. And during that whole week, I wasn't sure what I needed to get for him. I needed like a list of everything that I needed to buy for him. So that's what kind of inspired me to do this video today because I thought, if you're thinking about getting a dog, maybe you already have a dog, whatever. These are 10 really great things that I feel like every dog owner needs to have in their house for their dog. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you guys have any other suggestions for me, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. When I first got this dog, you guys gave me so many great suggestions and that's a lot of the things that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today are some of the suggestions that you guys have given me. So go ahead, leave comments because I appreciate it so much. But for now, let's just go ahead and jump right into this video. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna share with you guys is a collar. I feel like it's a huge necessity, and I just took this off of Dude's neck, so he's kind of freaking out about it right now. He's like, hey, that's mine. What are you doing, Mom? But this little collar is so cute. I showed it in a puppy haul before, and I'm not even sure if Dude is considered a puppy or a dog now. I heard that Golden Doodle stay puppies for a super long time. Since he's gonna be a year next month, should I just call him a dog now? I don't know, I still consider him my little puppy but I gotta put this back on his neck because he's going crazy but this collar is actually from Petsmart it's from the Ellen DeGeneres line and that line is so cute they have so many adorable little dog items and this is the matching leash that comes with it I love the gold hardware on it of course it's a blue it just has little cute little tiny tiny polka dots on it the collar actually does have a really small bow tie on it but I ended up putting my own little bow tie on it that I picked up from TJ Maxx for really cheap just for around 4th of July and I just thought it was cute. So I just wrapped it around there. Okay, I'm putting it back on. Oh, you're so furry. You can't even see your bow tie. Dude. Hey, let me show it. Are you not going to let me show your collar? Really? I'll go ahead and leave the PetSmart website down below if you guys want to check out the whole Ellen DeGeneres line because it's so cute. I kind of want to get him another one of these collars and stuff. Dude's pretty rough on all the stuff. As you can tell, he just like bites it all. Now, when we first got Dude, I just went to our local grocery store. I had no idea what to get and I just got like the tiniest little collar. I think I got him a harness too, which... If you know that you're gonna have a really big dog like this, getting a really small collar and a harness probably is pretty useless. Dude wore that harness for maybe a week and he grew right out of it. And then the collar was so stinking small. I don't know, I was kind of hoping he was gonna stay small, I think. I, it just like wasn't hitting me that he was gonna become a humongous dog. So I would suggest, if you already know that your dog's gonna be really big, just get a bigger collar if you can. And usually they're adjustable so you can make it a little bit smaller if you need to. Dude's freaking out because I'm pulling out all this stuff right now. But the next thing that I feel like every dog owner needs for their dog is some dog bowls, of course, because once you bring your puppy home, they need something to eat out of. So these aren't the first ones that we got for him. The first ones that we got for him were very, very small. They looked big to me, but they were very, very small, especially the water. I had to keep refilling it like 20 times a day. So I ended up finding these adorable Ray Dunn ones at Home Goods, and I love them so much. I think they're so cute. This one says Live, Love, Bark, and this one says Nosh on it. They always have these at Home Goods if you guys want some of these for your dog. I just think they're so cute. I ended up getting a little treat jar too. A lot of you have suggested to me that I need a dog bowl that comes off the ground and stuff just so it's better for 
his back and digestion I think like that I really don't know why that you guys have suggested that to me but I've heard it so much so I just feel like I need to get a dog bowl that's a little bit higher. I haven't found anything that I thought was really cute yet and that I really loved or anything. I really loved these dog bowls, so if I could find a stand to just set these on, that would be a little more ideal for me because I love these ones so much. But if I see something really cute at Home Goods that comes off the ground a little bit, I'll probably end up getting that. Now, I also got dude these dog bowls. These ones are just from TJ Maxx. I think these were in a dog bowl. Um, haul too. What's so great about it is that it pops up. It's really large. It's a great size and this has just been so awesome for us for traveling. Anytime we go anywhere we always take this with us just because it's so easy and then I don't have to travel around with these glass dog bowls because before I got this I was doing that a lot. So if you do travel or you take your dog to somebody's house or something this is really just a great thing to have and then you can just fold it up and take it with you. I got this at TJ Maxx really cheap. I don't remember how much but it was really cheap and if you are getting a new dog I totally suggest going to TJ Maxx to pick up stuff because it's way cheaper than PetSmart and Petco and stuff even though sometimes they do have some really cute stuff there. The next thing I want to suggest for you guys are some bully sticks. These actually are kind of expensive. Like two big ones like this is like $7.99 which I feel like is pretty expensive. When Dude was a lot smaller we used to get the smaller ones but now he chews on these for so long and he's such a big dog now we always get the bigger ones. We just get these at our local grocery store. Sometimes I can find these at TJ Maxx too but these are just so great especially when you get a new puppy because they need something to chew on. Dude never chewed on any of our furniture anything like that and I honestly think having these bully sticks around were just a huge lifesaver. He knew that like this is what he could chew on, not to chew on the furniture. If he ever even went towards anything else, I would just hand him one of these. It was just a lifesaver and a lifesaver for our furniture. Dude still chews on these all the time. He's chewing on one right now. He's obsessed with these. He can't help himself. So these are awesome. So if you're getting a golden doodle especially, golden doodles are so hairy. I totally suggest picking up a brush for your dog. This is the first one we ended up getting dude and I just wanted to share this one with you guys to tell you I don't like this one at all. It does absolutely nothing for his hair. So at first when I saw this I thought it was going to be great because it kind of has a softer side and a harder more bristly side but it just does not work on his hair at all. Dude gets matted so quick. Like I said he's a golden doodle. They're like the furriest dogs ever. Actually what ended up working out great for us is just a comb like this. I think that the groomer actually uses something like this too except hers is a lot bigger. A comb has just been so perfect. Anytime I do comb them out I'm able to get those knots and those mats out pretty quickly. I also think I want to try a detangler spray for his hair too. I think that would be really great. I'm going to end up trying that out soon and let you guys know what I think about it. So the next thing I want to share with you guys is a bed. Every dog I feel like just needs their own little bed to sleep on at night. If you you guys watched our very first video called meet dude you gotta check it out if you haven't seen it because dude was so small and just so cute but we ended up getting him a bed pretty much right off the bat I ended up getting it from TJ Maxx it was like 60 bucks and I could tell it was a really nice good quality bed in that video I was so worried though that he was just going to chew up that bed and it was going to be destroyed because that was like the only thing he wanted to chew on for a little while. Fortunately, that thing is still alive and pumping. It was a good $60 spent, but he does need a new bed because he's totally growing out of that thing. I just haven't found one that I really love as much as that one, so he just needs something a little bit bigger. I do suggest right when you get a dog, if you know that it's going to be big, just go for the bigger bed. Don't go for like some really small tiny little bed. That brings me to the next thing that I wanted to share with you guys was this bitter apple spray. This seriously saved our lives and I think we ended up getting this because of all your suggestions telling us to get this. So we ended up spraying this bitter apple spray 
on dude's bed and this kind of deterred him from wanting to bite his bed. Basically, bitter apple spray, it's for dogs and it just is kind of like, I guess it just kind of tastes gross to the dog and they'll stop chewing on whatever. I totally suggest picking up some bitter apple spray though too, especially if your dog is chewing on furniture or anything that you don't want it to be chewing on. This stuff is great. I think we ended up getting this at our grocery store, but I've seen it at like PetSmart and Pet Petco too. Another thing that we needed to get dude right away was a crate or a playpen. We ended up getting both because we just thought we needed both. Really, you can just get one as soon as you get a dog. But we wanted to crate train dude though and keep him in his crate while he was sleeping. We didn't want to like train him to come and sleep in our bed or anything like that. At first, if you guys also saw our meet dude video, the very first video with dude, the crate we had was tiny because I just thought, oh, he's so tiny, it'll be fine. But we had just borrowed a small little crate from my parents but I totally suggest if you're getting a puppy and you know it's gonna be a big dog just go for the big crate we actually ended up getting a really great deal on ours we got a really big one we got it off of Amazon it was like half the prices they are at PetSmart or anything like that so we ended up getting him a really really big crate we actually don't even use the crate anymore we actually ended up getting the playpen too and that works just like a crate so you can just like kind of put it around in a circle put their bed in there and that works totally fine too the playpen is nice too because you can use it as like a fence and it's just easier to carry around than the huge crate the next couple things I want to share with you guys is that you've got to get your little puppy or your dog some toys now dude kind of de destroys any toy he gets his hands on when I first got dude Joshua and I were obsessed with going to the store and always bringing him back a toy every single time and we would get like really plushy types of toys and stuff and instantly within 10 minutes he would have that thing torn open and for a while I had like an entire closet full of toys that were ripped open that I thought oh I'll probably soak back together or something well that never ended up happening so one day I just went and threw them all away which was really sad but now we end up getting him a little bit more durable toys this one right here is a very durable toy that he's had for a while now it's from TJ Maxx he has not busted a hole through this thing yet and I think there's like a brand called like Durable or Dura something that you can get at TJ Maxx but this type of toy he does not bite through so I don't know what it is but I totally suggest if you have a dog that's a biter, a chewer, get them something that you know will last them a while instead of something like really plushy that they'll probably end up just ripping open. And by the way, I know I'm just showing one toy, but dude has so many toys, it's ridiculous. He's so stinking spoiled. All right, I have two more things that I wanna share with you guys. First is some training treats. Of course, it's really important to train your dog as soon as you start getting them, start working with them. I just got these little, yep, dude, I'll give you one. Good boy. See, he knows to sit right away now, he's so good. Um, and he's already trying to shake my hand. Lay down. Okay, so these are called Buddy Trainers. Fun, healthy, tasty training true chews. These are only one calorie per chew, which is really good. Especially because as soon as we got dude and we were really working with him all the time, we didn't want to give him really high calorie treats or anything like that. We just wanted something that would be really simple and small for him. So these are really great. We still give these to him all the time. So I get these from Tar and I think they have a few different kinds too. These are great. These have worked out really, really well for dude. He loves them. All right, and the last thing that I just wanted to mention, and I'm not going to hold it up or anything, but it's always very important to obviously get dog food for your dog. They need to eat just like we do. So when we first got dude, we ended up getting the same exact food as the breeder was already feeding him because if you automatically switch them to something else, they can get sick and they might not transfer over to something different very well. So when we first got dude, she had him on like puppy chow, I think. So we put him on that. And then after that, we slowly changed him over to a different food. And we probably switched his food like two or three times. Now, I am not 100% stuck on the food that he's on right now. And I'm not even going to share with you guys what it is or anything because I feel like people get so worked up about like what dog food 
dogs should be on. But if you guys do have any suggestions for a really great food that dude could eat, that would be awesome. Leave it down in the comments below. All right, guys, so I got dude back up here for the end of the video. I really hope you guys liked hearing what I thought was 10 great things that every new dog owner needs or just 10 things that I feel like you should get for your new puppy. I feel like if I had something like this that I could have watched right before I got dude. I feel like it would have been kind of helpful. So I hope it was helpful to you guys too. So if you guys love watching videos that have dude in it, please make sure to go ahead and click that like button down below for me. Also, leave a comment. Let me know what type of video you want to see next or what you want to see dude up to next. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure to go ahead and find that subscribe button down below for me. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you really soon in my next video.